Today on the bench, I'm joined by Steve Jennings of the Candles Fly Shop, and we're going to tie an Aylvin pattern. That's right, it's called the Jennings Ultimate Aylvin. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a TMC 200R size 14. We'll use some silver gray 3 aught mono for the thread, some medium vinyl tubing for the body. For the body filler, we'll use some gray Antron yarn with three strands of pearl flashaboo, some bright orange ultra chenille for the egg sac, some prismatic stick-on eyes as the eyes, and some aqua seal as the head finish. And so we start off with laying a foundation of our thread. Now we cut off a one inch length of our vinyl tubing and we slot that on to our threader cleaner. Now I've cut off about three inches of um, the uh, Antron yarn and I'm going to combine that with about three strands of the flashaboo, pearl flashaboo, and we're going to thread that Give it a lick first, just to make it all stick together. Thread that through our threader cleaner, like that, and halfway along. And bend that over like that. And then we slide our vinyl tubing up over that and pull it on to our body filler material. Now we just cut that off of our threader cleaner and one end we'll use for our tail and one end we'll use for our dorsal fin. Now we're going to put the uh, body onto the hook. So we start about there, series of soft loops and gradually getting tighter as you get down towards the front of the hook. Okay, now we fold this back and a few wraps around and then walk it the thread up onto the vinyl tubing and the full back part and take it back to where we've tied on. A couple of wraps there and then come back to the head. And now we have to just snip off about an eighth of an inch up our dorsal fin, like that. Now we're going to take about uh, an inch and a half length of our uh, ultra chenille. We're going to strip the ultra chenille off of the off of the body to expose the core of the ultra yeah, chenille right. on both ends. And now what we do is we just fold that over into a loop to form our egg sac. Oh, okay. And we tie that in on the underside, just like a throat hackle. A couple of soft loops, get that in, and snip off the end of the core of the ultra chenille. Now we're just going to build up a head, and that's why we're using this 3-up, because it's a little heavier material and it builds up a little faster. So we're going to build up our head just by doing lots of wraps. We take our prismatic eyes, and we're going to put them on the end of the needle because they're easy to handle. And they're just put them with the eyeball side down. Okay, now the eyes are a little too big, so we're just going to snip the tops off of the eyes. Now we're going to take a little bit of aqua seal on the end of our needle, like that, and just stroke it along the back and between the eyes, and then wrap it around the eyes, like that. And I also like turn the vise over and make sure I got a little dab of aqua seal on the underside. Being careful not to get it into the eye of the hook of course. Well there you go, there's the finished Aylvin and I'm just popping back in the vise. And That's a beautiful little pattern. Now, I've also noticed that you really like to use the aqua seal in your flies. Why That's is that? right. Um, I think it's because it is a softer finish than epoxy. It doesn't crack and it doesn't discolor. Uh, and uh, it just stays on there really good and cements everything together. Great. Well, thanks for the tie. You're welcome.